The best eyeshadow transition shades for mature women. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. Well, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do by clicking the red subscribe button below on the lower right, and then click that little gray bell, and you'll be informed every time there's a new video, and all of the videos will relate to you. Well, I'm always on the lookout for a good transition shade eyeshadow because so many shadows and the palettes these days are either too dark for me for a transition shade or they're too shiny. So I like a color that's matte or at least close to matte and in that light to medium tone and it could go anywhere from a beige to brown as long as it's light or a taupe to charcoal as long as it's light. So I'm going to share with you some of my favorites. I brought along a bunch of palettes that I think have at least one good transition shade in them. The first is a Smashbox Trio, and this is called Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio, and this is in the color Nudie Pick Fair. And not everybody has it in fair these days, but the transition shade I like in this is the one at the top right. And this one is called Hang, like H-A-N-G, and it actually is very lovely. Now, let's talk about where the transition shade goes. And for me, it goes right above the crease. It can go into the crease, that's okay, but I'll take a slightly darker color and put it into the crease, but it's just above so that when I open my eyes and look at you, you can see just a little bit of the transition color peeking out. It's not all hidden in the crease. It's just coming out a little bit and a little bit up to the outer corners. So depending on your eye shape, if maybe when you open your eyes, you can't see your mobile lid at all. Lots and lots of people have that. I'm seeing less of my mobile lid than I used to. But you can play with this and get a really nice transition shade, put a little darker color in the crease, and you can make it look like your eyes aren't as hidden as they really are. The next one that has two really good transition shades is this Lorac Pro Matte. It's really small, which is great for traveling. You see it's really thin also. And when I open it up, you'll see one of these is well loved. It's this color here called Latte. It's a warm taupe, very warm taupe. Um, nothing really cool about it. And then the one below it in pink mauve. Really lovely shades for transition. Next is the Buxom Suede Seduction Palette. I've shown this before not too long ago. I'm going to take out the little pencil and cover them here. So this one actually has four really good shades. The first four to the left for a transition shade. Now this one might be a little too light for most people for a transition shade. But these three really are, so two warm and one taupe. This Stila palette, this is called um, Eyes Are the Window, and this is the one called Mind that's all matte. And this one, the one I especially like for a transition shade is this one down here. It's kind of a peachy beige. So if I'm looking for something that's more peachy but not orange and um, not pink, this one is a really good one for a transition shade. The Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics has some really good shades in it. Let me pop out the little brush that came with it. Now in this one, I find these three on the top to be really good colors. And what I'll do a lot of times, instead of just applying one of them, I'll mix them. So I'll dip my brush a little bit in each of these two, the second and third one over to get something that's a little warmer. Or I'll dip my brush into this middle one and the fourth one over, which is more of a taupey charcoal, and get a really nice transition shade color that I really, really like. I also like that this one has two light shades. It has one that has a little bit of shimmer for the lid, but these three are really nice for transition. Tartlet has some nice additions for transition shades. 
And in this one, I would say anything in the second column works really well for transition shades. And if it's too dark, like this one in the very middle, I think is a little too dark for me. So I'll mix that one with either this one in the corner or with this one to its left, just to get something that still has some of that color in it, but lightens it up a little bit so it's not too dark. The Too Faced Natural Matte, I also need to mix shades in this, which, it's okay, I don't mind doing that. So these in the center are what I would choose for my transition shades, but they are a little bit dark for me, so I'll mix with these others on the left side that are lighter. So maybe this one, because it's warm, I'll mix with this peachy color. This brown actually has some pink in it, so I'll mix it with the pink, and then this more normal brown, I'll mix it with the one on its left, which is more of a creamy yellow and get a really nice transition shade out of these. For a drugstore brand, there are one or two colors in this one for L'Oreal. This is the La Palette Nude 2. I did see a picture of one of these and they had the word intense on here, but it is the Nude 2. And try to cover up the mirror. So the ones I like in this for transition are the third one from the left and the third one from the right. So the one on the right is a little more pinky, the one on the left is a little more taupe. Really lovely shades for a transition color. Sometimes I'll reach for my Too Faced Chocolate Bar for transition shades. Usually I'm using these for some of the shimmers and the darker colors and the lighter color over here for my lid. But a couple of them that are good for transition are this one called Salted Caramel a really warm beige, very warm beige. And then this one called Milk Chocolate isn't too bad. I'd probably mix that with this creamy color because it is a little too dark for me and mixing it together would just lighten it up. Not to be missed is this Cargo Palette. Really like this. You'll see after I get rid of the brushes inside so I can show it to you. It has some really well-loved shades. <laughs> So these two right here are two taupe colors that are just gorgeous. Let's see if we can turn that a little bit better. Um, but you can see it's really hit pan. Um, the one over here is called City Hall and this one's called Urban. This one called um, Plaza, it's a little bit of a darker taupe. I'd use this in the outer corner or right in the crease, but these two are gorgeous. I could also get away with using this one called Rush Hour. It's a little warmer color for a transition shade. This is a the Rock Pro 3 palette. There are a couple shades in here that I really like for transition. The entire top row is matte, and I like this one over here, the second one from the left called Canvas, and then the fourth one from the left called Pink Nude. These are both really easy to work with. Now, the Rock tends to have a lot of fallout, so I always tap the brush really well, or I forget and then I tap it again because I just get fallout all over my face with this one. But um, really lovely, soft transition shades that I can work with. Another drugstore brand that's not to be missed is the Physician's Formula Canyon Classics in the quad. And this color in the upper left corner is a beautiful transition shade. It is a beige, but it's got a little bit of taupe in it, so it doesn't come out orangey, which I really like because sometimes browns and beiges come out orangey on me. So this one is really great and lasts all day. It's a bargain for what you get. The Urban Decay Naked 2 uh, Basics. This is the small palette. This is one I like for travel too. This is what I'm wearing today. I really love this palette. So I can do any of these three, second, third, and fourth as a transition shade. Um, mostly I stick with the second and third one, and if I go to the fourth, I'll mix it with the lighter shade here because it's more brown. I'll mix it with the second one. So this is what I'm wearing today. I think today, yeah, today I mixed the second and the third. I know it's kind of, they don't really seem to go together because one is more beige and one is more charcoal, but I think it worked for me today. I only did it in the transition and area above the crease and then I did this one excuse me this one here the fourth and in the crease and in the outer corner and then I touched up with a little bit of this second one from the right in the very outer corner 
and I put this one in the fourth I, I lined under my eye with that one. Another Urban Decay I really like is this Urban Decay Single, and this one is called Tease. And I thought they got rid of it, but they didn't. I'm so glad. So this one is a very light beigey brown. It goes on so nice. Um, this one I'll definitely, when I run out, I know I'm going to get a little bit more. Well, I'll buy another one. Um, it is really, really nice on. It blends well. So if you're looking for something that's more warm brownie beige and you just want to buy one as a transition shade, I would go with this color Tease. Now, one of my favorite transition shades of all time is from Studio Gear, and they don't make it anymore. I called them today to say, what's up? This is not in your website anymore. I'm going to cry. This is my last one. It's their color called Camel, and they actually put this, call it Pearl, but on me, it doesn't come off as shimmery at all or pearl-like. It comes off as a matte, but I do have a call into them, and they're going to ask one of their makeup artists to recommend something else that might be similar and I'll put it in the description box below or if I'm still editing this video by the time they get back to me I'll put it up on the screen in a word but it's lovely this one is a nice taupe it's light it's forgiving I absolutely love it now I do have another one that I got from them that's called golden smoke it's okay but it's not it's not this one called Camel. So this is Golden Smoke. It's more, it's more charcoal. It's not quite as light as you can see in the video. I'm looking at a monitor. So yeah, let, let me put them over here so you're not right in front of my mouth. I'm gonna zoom in on that. So just in case they recommend Golden Smoke, I saw they have one called Taupe, but I don't own it. So you can't trust the colors that you see on a screen. They just aren't true colors. So I let's wait till, um, yeah, I'm waiting for that phone call or email back. Now, how do I apply these? Well, I have three brushes that I can use. The first is a carity brush, and you'll see, it's uh, trying to focus on my face, that it has a pointed end. It's it's dense, but not too dense. So this one is very easy to use as a transition shade brush. Another one that I really like, believe it or not, is from e.l.f. This is the, the e.l.f. I'm gonna put it on the screen over here because I can't read it, sorry. <laughs> this one's very easy to use as a transition shade. It's very forgiving. Um, it's not as pointed, but it is, um, cut and curved a bit. Uh, very easy to apply as in transition shade. I don't use this as a crease shade brush, but I do use it as a transition shade brush. And then a third one that you could use, um, I like this Lamora brush set that I brought. I'll have this link below as well. Well, all these products are linked below today. Um, but this one, it's really thin and I can get into the crease and then I can bring it up like turn the brush this way and get above the crease so that when, again, when I open my eyes and I look in the mirror, I look at you, there's a little bit of that color showing through. And then of course I use a blending brush to blend out the edge to blur it with the lighter shade that I put under my eyebrow. So those are my favorite transition shades. Check out one of my other videos by clicking its image on the right side of your screen and I'll see you in the next video.